गुड मॉर्निंग डेयर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल कंटिन्यू चैप्टर फाइव एंड पार्ट फाइव ओके सेल द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ क्लियर नाउ इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर वी हैव सीन अप टू दिस सेल वॉल ओके वॉट इज सेल वॉल नाउ विल सी वॉट इज सेल मेम्रेन ओके सेकेंड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेल इज सेल मेम्रेन What is cell membrane? Cell membrane is a membrane or a protective layer inside which all the liquid material of cell presents. Okay, cell membrane is a membrane or protective layer in which all the liquid material of cell present. Okay, it is a membrane. It is a layer in which the cytoplasm that is the liquid material the liquid part of cell present cytoplasm presents okay then cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane the second name of cell membrane is known as plasma membrane plasma membrane okay now the third point is cell membrane is present in all types of cell okay cell membrane is present in all types of cell that means whether it is prokaryotic cell or eukaryotic cell whether it is prokaryotic cell or eukaryotic cell so it is present in all type of cell that is prokaryotic in only the plant cell okay cell wall is present in only the plant cell but in animal cell and plant cell cell membrane is present okay cell membrane is present in all types of cells okay now now cell membrane is permeable in nature cell membrane is permeable in nature okay it is selectively it is selectively permeable it is selectively permeable in nature Okay, what is permeability? We have already discussed. Small materials will allow to pass through the membrane, and the complex material will not be allowed to pass through the membrane. Okay, selectively permeable means, example, for carbon dioxide and water, it is permeable. Okay, and for for amines or for amino acid or for the amino acids and glucose it is selectively permeable it is selectively permeable means it will allow carbon dioxide and water to pass through it but amino acid and glucose it would be selectively permeable okay it will be selectively permeable depending upon their size so cell membrane okay <laughs> just see the points it is a layer in which cytoplasm is present it is also known as plasma membrane it is present in all types of cell it is selectively permeable in nature for carbon dioxide and water it is permeable but for amino acids and glucose it is selectively permeable clear now we are going to see the structure of cell membrane okay which was given by singer and nichols who given the structure of cell membrane the cell membrane structure was given by singer and nicholson okay singer and nicholson clear so we will see the cell membrane structure in detail see there would be
ओके इट इज अ लिपिड लेयर इट इज अ फैट लेयर लिपिड लेयर ओके देर वुड बी सम प्रोटीन सर में है देर वुड बी सम प्रोटीन सर में है ओके देर वुड बी प्रोटीन सर में है एंड वन वुड बी two types of proteins are present okay integrated proteins and outer membrane of protein outer layer and inner layer okay see this is this is lipid layer okay this is proteins okay this would be protein proteins are of two types that is integrated protein and outer proteins okay this is integrated or inner protein it is inner protein and this is outer protein outer protein okay the given the structure of that is cell membrane okay now see the red color structure you can see this is a lipid layer it is a lipid layer now see lipid layer contain two parts this is head and this is tail this is head and this is tail okay now head is head is hydrophilic in nature head is hydrophilic hydrophilic now what is hydrophilic i will tell you head is hydrophilic and the tail part is hydrophobic tail part is hydrophobic in nature okay see what is hydrophilic hydro means water and philic means loving okay hydrophilic means it is water soluble layer okay hydro hydro means what it is hydro means water and philic means loving okay loving that means the head part is water soluble part the head part is water soluble part and tail is hydrophobic you know the word phobia phobia means head okay phobia so hydro means water and phobia means head okay so the tail is insoluble in water water hating part okay water loving part is head and water hating part is tail okay so this is the structure which is given by singer and nicholson okay this is the structure of cell membrane okay clear so see this structure in detail or you can pause the video or draw the structure so after the cell membrane next structure is mitochondria next structure is mitochondria okay now depending upon the layer of cell membranes the cell organelles are divided into three part okay cell membrane okay cell membrane depending upon the cell membrane the cell organelles are of three part some of the cell organelles will be double layer some of the cell membrane sorry some of the cell organelles will be single layer and no layer under double layer mitochondria under double layer the first would be mitochondria and second would be plastid okay mitochondria and plastid these are the two cell organelles which having the double layer सिंगल लेयर में फर्स्ट वुड बी गोल्जी बॉडी ई आर दैट इज एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम वी विल सी व्हाट इज एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम एंड थर्ड विल लाइसोसोम ओके लाइसोसोम एंड नो लेयर स्ट्रक्चर इज राइबोसोम ओके एंड साइटोसोम ओके या we can write centrosome centrosome clear so depending upon the layer of cell membrane the cell organelles are of three types if the double membrane is present then it would be mitochondria and plastid that means in case of mitochondria and plastid the cell membrane would be of double layer in case of 
Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum, and lysosome, the cell membrane would be of single layer. And in case of ribosome and centrosome, the cell membrane, there would be no layer of the cell membrane. Okay. Now see, we'll see each and every structure in detail. First, we'll go to see mitochondria and plastic. Mitochondria and plastic in detail. So we are starting the structure of mitochondria. Okay. Structure of mitochondria. So now as we have seen the mitochondria is a double layer structure. Okay. The structure of mitochondria. This is the cell organelle which is having the double layer. This is the cell organelle which is having the double layer. Okay. See, this is the outer membrane. This is inner membrane of mitochondria. Okay, outer membrane and inner membrane of mitochondria. Now, see, there would be some fold in the inner membrane of mitochondria. There would be some fold. So this fold like structures is there. See, this is the outer layer of mitochondria, this is the inner layer of mitochondria. Okay. Now there will be some structure which is present or the liquid material which is present inside the mitochondria. Okay, there will be some liquid structure which is present inside the mitochondria. Now here some cell would be present. Here some cells would be present. These cells are known as F1 and F0 cells. These cells are known as F1, F0 cells. F1, F0 cells. And its name is oxisomes. Oxisome. Okay. Now, and the fold which you can see here, this fold which you can see is known as Christie. Christie. Okay. The inner membrane having the fold which are known as Christie. This is the outer membrane. This is the outer membrane and the space between outer membrane and inner membrane okay the space between outer membrane and inner membrane the space between outer membrane and inner membrane is known as peri mitochondrial space peri mitochondrial space peri means towards the periphery peri means towards the periphery so peri mitochondrial space okay now f1 and f0 cells are present okay now there would be double stranded dna one double stranded dna and these are the dot like structures which are known as rna okay double stranded dna rna and there would be some dot structures which are known as 70s ribosomes okay so these dot structures are 70s ribosomes okay this is circular dna circular dna is also known as double stranded double stranded dna okay this is rna okay dna rna and there would be the cell material inside okay which is liquid material liquid material present inside the cell liquid material present inside the cell is known as matrix the liquid material which is present is known as matrix and the liquid material as we know that its name is cytoplasm cytoplasm okay now see this is the structure of mitochondria double standard dna it would be circular okay rna are present 
this dot red dot structure are 70 s ribosomes i will tell you in detail what is ribosomes and what is the meaning of s this is the liquid part which is present inside the cell membrane which is known as matrix outer membrane inner membrane having some fold which is known as cristae the space between outer membrane and inner membrane is known as peri mitochondrial space and these are the cells that is f1 and f0 cells so this is the basic structure of mitochondria clear you can see the structure okay now we'll discuss each and every point in detail so mitochondria mitochondria is a cell organelle which is having a double layer okay i hope you have seen the structure now we'll discuss one by one each point okay we'll see so mitochondria is a double layered cell organelle double layer cell organelles okay second point second point the fold which is present the fold which is present on the inner layer are known as cristae are known as cristae okay now mitochondria contain mitochondria contain f1 and f0 cell which are known as oxisomes okay then next is mitochondria contain dna rna and ribosome okay now see this point is very very important as far as our examination is concerned dna rna and ribosomes mitochondria contain its dna rna and ribosome so because mitochondria is contain its dna rna and ribosome therefore the mitochondria is known as semi autonomous cell okay semi autonomous organelle okay ye ek aisa part hai jiske paas pura dna rna and ribosome hai therefore it is known as semi autonomous organelle okay and the most important point for your examination it is known as power house of the cell it is known as power house of the cell okay mitochondria is known as the power house of the cell okay so these are the points regarding the mitochondria there are outer membrane inner membrane okay in between the space is present which is known as peri mitochondrial space its dna rna ribosomes are present and the matrix okay the substance which is present liquid substance which is present inside the cell membrane is known as matrix okay so this was all about the mitochondria next cell organelles we are going to see plastid next very important very important for your examination plastid next cell organelle is plastid now students pay attention here we are we have seen mitochondria and now we are seeing plastid both are double layer cell organelles keep it in mind both are double layer cell organelles mitochondria and plastid now plastid what is plastid okay it is present it is present in plant cell but absent in animal cell and prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cells okay plastid is present only in the plant cell plastid is present only in the plant cell but it is absent in animal cell and prokaryotic cell clear now plastid are of two types okay plastid are of two types and plast 
means cell. Okay, leucoplast and second is chromoplast. Chromo means what? Chroma. Chroma means color. Colorful. Okay, chroma means colorful. So plastid are of two types: chromoplast and leucoplast. Okay, chromo means color. Chroma means color. Chroma means color and leuco means colorless. Okay. Now leucoplast is or also of three types. That is amyloplast, alleuloplast, and elaioplast. Okay, leucoplast. Now what is the function of leucoplast? Storing there. Okay, or storage. Storage. What is the function of leucoplast? Storage. So depending upon the storage, first is amyloplast. Amyloplast. Second is alleuloplast, and third is elaioplast. Carbohydrate. It stores carbohydrate. Okay. It stores protein and it stores fat. Okay. The carbohydrate is stored by amyloplast. The protein is stored by alleuloplast and the fat is stored by the elaioplast. Okay. So leucoplast is a storing bag. Okay. It is bag-like structure. Okay. And the second type of plast we are going to see in detail that is chromoplast. Chroma means color. Okay. So second type of plast is chromoplast. And second type of structure is chromoplast. Chromo plus chromo means chroma means color. Colorful. Now colorful plastics are of many. Okay, many colorful plastics are there. Then that means red colored plastic, then green colored plastic. Okay, then blue colored plastic. Okay, blue color plastic. Okay, so various color plastic, various color food and yellow color also. Yellow color plastic are also present. But in our syllabus, only one type of plastic is given, that is green plastic. And the very very famous, as we know that green plastic is known as chloroplast. Okay, chloroplast. Now we will be going to see. The structure of chloroplast in detail. Okay, we are going to see structure of chloroplast in detail. Again, I am repeating chromoplast means chroma. Chroma means color. Okay, so various chromoplasts are present in the cell or in the plastic, but we are going to see detail green plastic that is chloroplast. Okay, see, take one notebook and pencil with you and draw the diagram with me. Okay, so chloroplast, there are two. As we have discussed, there will be two membrane, okay, outer membrane and inner membrane. Okay, this is outer membrane. This is inner membrane. Okay, now the next is. In plastic, there are some coins-like structure. In plastic, okay, or in plastic, we are going to be seeing chloroplast. Chloroplast. Okay. So in chloroplast, there are two types of structure. That is outer membrane, inner membrane, and some coin-like structure. Some coin-like structure are arranged above one above the other. Okay. Some coin-like structure are arranged one above the Stromal 
Endoplasmic reticulum and lysosome, and no layered 
structure okay which is no layered structure or no layered cell organelles okay the cell organelles which is having no layer of cell membrane which is known as ribosomes and centrosome now we are going to see ribosomes so what is ribosome ribosomes are it is it is membrane less it is membrane less cell organelle it is membrane less cell organelle okay it is microscopic okay it is microscopic and granules like structure it is microscopic and granules like structure okay it is microscopic and granules like structure now there are two types of ribosomes present okay there are two types of ribosomes are present first is ribosomes okay ribosomes are of two type 70s and 80s now at the time of the difference between the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell i have explained to you there are two types of ribosomes that is 70s and 80s and i have told you that we'll see detail what is 70s and 80s during the structure of cell now this is the time when we we'll see in detail what is 70s and 80s ribosomes okay see this s this s stands for this s stands for sedimentation sedimentation unit or this s stands for swedberg unit if anyone ask you what is the meaning of s in 70s and 80s then we can say this s is sedimentation unit or we can say swedberg unit clear now what is 70s ribosomes and 80s ribosomes for example blood testing in blood testing machine the blood is taken in one test tube and it is kept in a centrifuge machine due to the very fast round movement the solid parts of the blood settle down at the bottom and liquid part which is known as plasma will remain upside so the solid part which is settle at the bottom that is known as sedimentation that is known as sedimentation so this was all about ribosome yes one more important point ribosome what is the function of ribosome ribosome is the synthesis of synthesis of synthesis of protein synthesis of protein therefore the ribosome is known as protein factory of the cell okay ribosome is known as protein factory of the cell okay if anyone ask you what is protein factory of the cell you will say ribosome ribosome is the protein factory of the cell and one more important point which i have missed is chloroplast okay chloroplast so the function of chloroplast is the photo chloroplast is helps in the photosynthesis but performed by the chlorophyll and the 
chloroplast cell or the chloroplast cell organelle is known as kitchen of the cell okay chloroplast cell organelles is known as kitchen of the cell because photosynthesis by the photosynthesis plant prepare their food therefore the chloroplast is known as kitchen of the cell okay so i hope you have understood what we have done today the next part which will continue in next lecture okay now see a uh, very small part is remained with this chapter so we'll finish it in next lecture and your syllabus will get over for the pt1 okay so i hope you have understood thank you very much